So being out here in very rural Tennessee, there's a, a reoccurring issue that keeps coming up and it's called communication. Now you see the, uh, the electrical lines over there and uh, we have some electricity, but the real problem is communication. Internet, calls, uh, since moving out here, I've always had Verizon, and when I went over to Colorado, I had to um, AT&T. And obviously, I rely on my phone a lot. I'm really surprised at how much I rely on my phone, because um, I, am, I am constantly um, having to upload um, for my channel. I have the Patreon channel still. So although I don't do a lot on Patreon, I, I still try to get things uploaded. Um, the ministry work is, it's all communication. Communication. I, I have a community page where I'm still posting uh, devotionals and polls. I used to have a Facebook page. I, I've been locked out. I can't, I don't know how to get into my, oh, my Facebook page. If anybody knows how to get into Facebook, please let me know because all my information is old. I can't get into my sorry Hilder Facebook page. But, but with that said, you know, there's Facebook. I'd love to start posting on that. But so you see the world that we live in, the world that we live in upon our phones and communication. The problem is since coming out here, I've had minimal communication. Calls are constantly getting dropped. WhatsApp doesn't work. Um, trying to get internet is a mere impossibility. I get up in the morning and I usually uh, do a devotional online. Uh, very difficult to get that. And I remember just a couple nights ago, I, I desperately needed to uh, make an order because things are getting so expensive. And there's things that I, I really need to get because I foresee what's what's happening. And so at 3 a.m. in the morning, I am standing in the middle of the driveway uh, with my phone in the air doing my order. So with that said, I feel like I'm being prepared for the time when we're not going to have any communication. So I guess I'm grabbing the camera and hopefully <laughs> within a couple days I'll be able to upload this. We'll see how good that goes. But it is a, it is a, a, reali a reality check uh, that we need to start working on communication. We need to start having a backup plan, an uh, alternative way to reach people and to get a hold of people and to share information. And I'm talking actually without the internet and without the cell phone. So what does that look like? When I lived off the grid, one of the things I kept telling people is build your library. Build your library. So that number one, when you're not gonna have access to the computer or the phone, that means you're not gonna have access to information. Very, very important that you start building a library of books, okay? Every time I go to Goodwill, every time I go to um, any type of thrift store, I am looking at books, and I am buying books, and it's amazing the, the, the awesome books that you can get because nobody reads them anymore. Books on medicinal plants, books on how to plant, books on how to plumb, uh, do plumbing, books on how, uh, construction, buy them start stocking up in them. The other thing is have a have some good walkie talkies. Um, I've moved so many times. I, I, I had some walkie talkies. Um, I, I don't know what happened to them. Um, but that's on my list of things that um, I really need. I probably two good sets of really, really good walkie talkies. So if I have two sets, which would be four, there'd be more people in my circle, in my ministry, that uh, I could connect with. So if you've got family members, you've got people in your church, you've got people in your community, see about going in on some walkie-talkies. Um, these handheld ones now are so um, powerful. And um, 
I mean, you know, in the old days, you know, I'll walk, it was just like kids stuff. Uh, but now things have really advanced. So I would advise some walkie talk. Um, the other thing is ham radio. Now I was going to pursue a ham radio license and I never did, but I know people who are really like hardcore off grid. Um, they, they have every base covered. And one of the big base for communication for them is ham radio. So um, I researched it at one time, and unfortunately, um, I kind of let it slip. I don't know a lot, but if there's anybody out there that's an expert, please chime into this video and let us know how to get started, where to go. If there's any good videos, I'd love to hear from you because I really think ham radio is going to be the, uh, a very good way um, for people to communicate um, when everything, the grid is completely down and we don't have our cell phones anymore. And also have a plan with your friends, your family, your community of, of when something happens and there are no cell phones, there's nothing. Uh, where are we going to meet? How are we going to meet? You know, just, just think about that. Like if something really does happen, we're like, we are going to choose the, by the telephone pole and it's, it's going to be, it's just a, it's a standard place. We're going to meet here and whatever day of week it is, if there is a, if there is an emergency or a, a disaster or something that's happening and, and communication goes out, we are going to choose a fo between five and seven o'clock and we're going to meet by this point. I mean, it sounds like crazy. But it really isn't. When you talk to disaster relief people and uh, who are really trained in this type of stuff, they've got a plan. It's all about plan. Get yourself a plan and start looking at your communication needs because I will guarantee that that is going to be your weakest link right now. All right. Starry Hilder, rebuilding my off-grid life.